Hey golfers, and welcome back to the Second Swing Tour Van. I'm Drew Mahold here joined by Mr. Kevin Kraft. And today is another episode of the Best of Series yeah. for 2024. Part one here early in the year. Today we got Fairy Woods. Yep. These are the, I guess, standard or higher MOI versions of them. So the models that will appeal to the most players. Yes. And we've got four of them here. So uh, very exciting times, lots of technological advancements made here, Kevin. So. Um, let's go through each of the four models here. We've got Cobra Dark Speed X. We've got Callaway AI or Paradigm AI Smoke Max, the TaylorMade QI10, and the Mizuno uh, ST Max 230. So, um, Kevin, you've been fitting these already a little bit. Yep. Um, first impressions on these before we dive into some testing. Um, all very good. Yeah. Numbers across the board have been really solid. Um, Lots of good looks, lots of good feels, lots of good sounds. Mm -hmm. We should also talk a little bit about the shafts for each of them because okay. we have one bonded hosel here. Yep. Um, we also have another shaft where um, a stock shaft that is not in tune with the rest of them, if you will. So yeah. uh, what do we got for each model? Here? So for both the Cobra and the Callaway, we have Kylie White uh, 70S. Okay. That's low launch, low spin, typically what I've been playing, though yep. based on what we've been seeing over the last couple of days, Maybe I need to go something that launches <laughs> a little higher. I don't know. We'll see what happens once we get out on a golf course. Um, the TaylorMade is the bonded one, yep. and it is the Ventus TR 6S, so mm -hmm. a little lighter weight shaft, also designed to kick it up a little bit higher. Okay. Might be what I need. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, and then Mizuno's, we have uh, the Hazardous Green. Again, low launch, low spin. Okay. So Sweet. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we'll hit probably, I don't know, six or seven shots with each and um, kind of pick the best five or so from that set and, and we'll look at all the numbers and come cool. back and finalize our takes from the test. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's get to it. Okay. All right, ST Max, Mr. Kraft. We've actually done some testing with this one already this morning. Yeah. Um, in a different video. So already familiar with it a little bit. Yep. Um, looks like a pretty forgiving golf club. Yeah, it does. It's uh it looks like a scaled down version of the driver. <laughs> One thing you that that our viewers may have noticed is I am always moving, right? I'm like constantly twirling things and moving. It actually stems from reading uh, in, I think it was in Rotella, yeah. that one of the things that he wants his students to do is when they pull a club to constantly be in motion. They don't, he doesn't want static where you're just standing yeah. there. So interesting. For whatever reason, I've been do, I've been like this forever. I'm not really technically twitchy, but <laughs> no, it's just but, been, you've been taught that over time, and yeah, it's and so interesting. it it tends to lead into a more fluid motion, I hmm. guess. So that's I have a feeling Keegan Bradley is the same. I think you're probably as right. Is a, a Rotella student? I think you're probably right. <laughs> yeah. So Rotel is great. Doctor Joseph Parent's great. There's a lot of good ones out there. Eventually, I'm going to write a book on it too. I love that. Some, uh, just, uh, you know, mental mental help from the tales from a professional nobody. Um, so something like that as a, as a kind of a working title. I think you, you got to give yourself some more credit in the title. No, I like the, I like the lack of credit, honestly, in the title, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So that's why I'm always, I'm always moving. That, that's just oh. what I was taught to do, and, and, and I do Well, see, it. here's what's going to happen. If people weren't noticing it, now they're going to notice of it. Of course they are. Not gonna be, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so I'm not really twitchy, but there's a purpose <laughs> to all this movement. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Off. Now you better hit a really good first shot. Yeah, so it really should. <laughs> it validates it. Oh, and you did. Oh. Okay. He does it. Score. All right. Another solid golf shot there from the sounds of it. Yep. Okay. That one turned over to the left this hey. time. Same, basically the same number yeah. distance-wise, but it was one's a high fade, one's a high draw. Nice. Nope, that's not it. Left the face open. I was trying to swing at zero. I got point two. You, you, yeah, you got pretty close. Just the face. It's angle hard away. though, man. I'll tell you what. So you get a guy in a, in a fitting bay that, that swings a zero zero and then maybe does it again. And then I'm always going to make the comment that, you know, that's really hard to do. I think if you gave me a hundred swings, even though I got a pretty decent control of my golf, my golf swing yeah. most of the time, 
I could do zero zero maybe four times out of a hundred. Yeah. Like it's hard no, to get yeah. zero there, zero. Nobody actually. I mean, most people don't even try to do that. No, I mean, this is the whole idea that the, the folks that want to hit it like dead straight, well, yeah. zero zero in a vacuum, <laughs> you know, right. with no wind and, and anything else, and a perfectly round golf ball, and, and yep. all those things kind of kind of factor in there. So yeah. Maybe a smidge to the toe. Hmm, that works though. Yeah, it's all right. That one was hit well too. Yep. Off to a good start with this one. Yes, I'm. I'm slightly better at the uh, the hand release at this point of the day. All right. Okay. You got some good cool numbers up there. That was fun. I like seeing those good shots. Yeah, I'll take this one out here, and then uh, that dispersion gets really nice and, and okay. attractive there. Um, mm. St. Max behaved itself. It did. Oh, it did. I behaved myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, average club speed of 101.6, 146 ball speed, results in a 144 smash, 36.26 on the spin on average, 235.5 carry. Um, pretty good. Pretty consistent stuff too here. Yeah, really know, good height and, and landing angle. Spins a little on the higher side. Yeah, a little bit. And this is a very, I, th I, I think compared to these even, probably a little bit higher MOI yeah. model than yeah. the rest of them. So. Might see a little bit more launch and spin. The one thing that seems to be recurring, yeah, exactly, is that, is that smash, smash factor. factor. It's just um, not seeming to Going like... back to our test earlier, on yeah. the swing report testing for that, it was yeah. also a little bit low. So yeah. we'll see how that compares with the rest of them, but... Um, how about impact location on this one? Let's how find out. this? Okay, yeah. So pretty typical for me off the mats, right? Yeah, it's you're gonna just be a little just tiny bit under low. center. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's... Uh, I mean, you're probably going to be pretty similar with all of them in that regard, so I make it a good so, test yeah. anyway. So, yeah. um, all right, next okay. club here. We got what the QI ten. QI ten. How's that one look? It Looks down. good. So it's it does look a little bit bigger than the tour version, but shape wise, it's it's very very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. I think yeah. it, I think it looks good. Flips me out a little bit to not have adjustment because yeah. I, I want to be able to, to tweak yeah, it. Yeah, the bonded nozzle. But bit of a disadvantage um, in that sense where Yeah, there's people out there that don't want adjustability and, and that's cool, right? But and I then you find, basically have to rely on shaft to Yeah, that's the hard part, right? Is yeah. if, if we didn't have the adjustability, if we didn't have the adjustable hosels and the ability to take heads off and everything, can you imagine how big the facility would have to be to hold all the bonded heads with all the yeah. different combinations? Yeah. My goodness, you'd have to have this whole store just for just exclusively just fitting for fitting. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because I mean if you think I mean the actual number of combinations that we can build in the fitting bay is oh, yeah. I mean we're at Thousands and thousands of them. Yeah. So 80,000 probably. Yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood. So, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot to live up to right there. I think you can do it. Well, I think see. the QI10 can do it. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, pretty good that's, start. A, that's a decent start. Boy, that didn't feel as low a ball speed as it actually ended up being. That shot there? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, smash factor felt, a little low. Felt really good, actually. Pretty good. Yeah. It's Feels the good. babiest of draws. I like the babiest of draws. Ooh, that was smoked. Yep. That was better. That was smoked. That one was good. Big high draw. Nice. Another one. Same golf shot, pretty much. You found you found the groove. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay. So I have to first comment on a couple of things here, and that is the carry distance on those last three swings. Um, if I were to expand this here, you got two forty two point nine, two forty three point six, two forty three point seven. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yep. I like that. Nope. I like no that. Complaints. That's really well done. Um, this is your kind of low smash, but that's when you thought felt better. Yeah, I thought I it felt good. I didn't. It didn't feel I mean, like it was. You got it right. I mean, you're pretty. I wonder good. it felt pretty good. So it was. Uh, yeah. I, I wonder. What, I suppose uh, maybe could be a track. I band caught history. slightly, but might have caught just the tiniest bit behind it. We did see the spin drop on that one, so oh, that would yeah. kind of indicate maybe we got a little bit of okay. mat contact there. 
Yeah, actually, but, if I look here, maybe see your attack angle of that. Yeah, that's up the one. So maybe that's part of it. Yeah. Oh, the last one was a one too, though. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, I suppose. But okay. Um, anyway, here's our uh, dispersion and, and numbers yeah. here. Um, we did see the ball speed and the smash factor come up. Yep. A little slower club slower, head speed, yeah. Uh, kind of comfortably, actually, yeah. and still had a faster ball speed. Um, the spin is much lower, and I think for you, you probably that's you like that a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so more distance, better spin. Um, pretty good stuff here. Yeah. From the QI10, yeah. actually. I was very pleased with that. Yeah. And actually, the shaft. Felt pretty solid too. Yeah. But, All right. Yeah. Some good stuff there. That was the Ventus. Yep. Blue TR. Yep. Six S. Might so. be. It might be telling me something. Could be. Which is. Hey, on how much you, you need, want to read into something. Need like a little that. higher launching shaft. Okay. So now we're with Ka uh, Callaway, right? Yes. So this is the Paradigm. Paradigm AI Smoke Max. And that is the Kylie White shaft as well. Correct. First impression on that look again. Shape-wise, it's good. Yep, it's good. It looks flatter. It looks like right? it's flattened compared you look to the at, others. You yeah. look at the face, and Pretty you shallow. can definitely see a very shallow face. Yeah. So, you know, this the build of that is designed to get the ball up in the air, mm. which is yeah, right. Something Keep I need. Keep the center so. of gravity below the golf ball. Yes. Ooh. Mmm. Roasty. Four feet of curve. Oh, nice. Straightness. Yep, we've got drip and we've got big ball first that Kevin didn't know. But you knew journey, so that's a that's to me that's a bonus. Yep. Shout out to the commenter that complimented Kevin's drip. It was good. And I agree with it. Didn't feel like saying the commenter's name. <laughs> it's a good one. It is a very good one. <laughs> Ooh, blistered. Ooh, ooh, Trackman. Mm. That was a crunchy one. I Glitch like that. The it's like you've hit this club really solid with the exception yeah. of the, the yeah. one big ball first one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see here, if we go like this, we, oh my goodness, that, that, no, I didn't hello. realize it would be way up there, but mm. I suppose the spin did, did come down quite a bit from the last did. couple. Yep. So that'll have, uh, that'll increase that carry distance. Also hit it with some more ball speed. Um, smash factor was pretty much the same as QI10 there. Um, what else did you, I guess, take away from hitting the AI Smoke Max? Felt fast. Yeah, it, it really did. fast. It really did feel fast. Like the shots jumped off the face. I've always been a big fan of, of Callaway Fairway Woods. Mm -hmm. I've been a big fan of TaylorMade Fairway Woods for that matter. But um, yeah, well, how about our height numbers? You got 95, 95 feet on that one, so, so a little, little bit lower. The, the probably the spin group. related. You yes. Think? Yes, I would think so. Probably going to want to go up a degree to try and yeah. get that height up there a little bit. Yeah, um, and that landing angle too. Yeah. You know, you, I think you were saying kind of 40 degrees is where you would like to be. Minimum. Yeah. yeah. So um, these, the, the QI. 10 and, and ST Max were comfortably up there. Yeah. But um, the distance and the ball speed is for sure there with the yeah, that, Smoke Max. Yeah, that felt so. really, really All right. good, really stable. Club number four, final club. Okay. Cobra Dark Speed X. VX. How does that one look when you put that one down in a dress? Love the finish. I like the shape of the titanium a little bit better. Okay. Again, me being probably Aesthetically oriented. Ridiculously silly about yeah. shapes and it is the stuff, is that the only I think it is. It is the only matte finish of the th of the four is, that we're yes, testing today. It is. You could have that in ping too if you want it, but yeah. Right. Be, yeah. Not a not a new twenty twenty four. Not not for twenty twenty four. Yeah. Hit the screen lower, like a lower launch there. Yeah, I may have just kind of got that off the bottom of the club face there. Was well, that some good, or uh, was hit with some good ball speed? Though. Yeah, no, it did produce good ball speed. Launch angle at seven three is a little low. I think I'm gonna like this one. No, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's pretty good. Yeah, that was a hanger. No turn. I thought it was gonna turn. Tiny bit of mat. Yeah, should take some spin off. Should it go did. far. Sure did. Okay. 
Ugh. Not making the best swings on this one, so it seems. There it is. Uh, that's okay. There's the one. Give me two more shots of this. I made some poor, poor attempts. And maybe I'm going to continue to make poor attempts. Okay, one more here. Yeah, that's a good one. That's wow, pretty that's good. straight. All right, okay. Dark Speed X. Yep. Um, we got our numbers, we got our dispersion up there. I know you didn't put your best swings on the Dark Speed X, so yeah. part of the numbers and the results will be due to that. Um, so you got a 144 smash, you got the spin at around 28, 2900. Carry was 239 on average. Um, your thoughts on the Dark Speed X? Yeah, I, it, I think the shape bothered me a little bit. Yeah. Um, Especially because you're used to the, the titanium, yeah, the one that you're yeah. thinking of and playing I, this I year. I really like the titanium. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's one of those things where if I'm looking at it and I'm like, mm -mm, you know, it's not my, maybe not my favorite, but, you know, feels okay. I didn't hit it very good, so that's that's on me. Yeah, it's well, not on, certainly not on the golf club. It's not the golf club's fault. Um, trajectory was the lowest of the group. Uh, carry was the shortest, to, second shortest of the group. Uh, mm -hmm. Total was second longest, mainly because of of spin. Yeah, right. Um, yep. Launch was okay. You know, uh, I, I I apologize to the Dark Speed X for not giving it a. a you know, a better series of swings, <laughs> but um, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's a good club. It is um, good. And we did yeah. see the the you know your your good swings were certainly yeah. Know, ball speed was up there, right? Right. That's, you had some hundred. I mean, yeah. hundred forty eight point eight, hundred forty seven here. So it, it's not like it doesn't pack the punch. Right. Um, it's right, certainly right. in there. Yeah. Um, but regardless, we got four really good fairy woods here. Yeah. Um, that we've tested. I think we can kind of give our final verdict here. Um, Definitely. In the Kevin's picks segment. Woo. All right, Kevin, some okay. great performance from all of these fairy woods here. Yep. So, um, you know, we had a, a, a slight modification to some, you know, some different shafts. We had them all at 15 degrees in the loft. So um, we had a pretty good test here. And I mean, we had some really good ball speed, some really mm -hmm. good consistency as well. So um, as we look at performance here um, and this test and, and in the, you know, the fittings that you've um, conducted so far in 2024. Do you have a favorite in terms of performance of this series? So in the, the higher MOI series, I'm going to give performance to Callaway. Yep. Yeah. I That's thought, what I thought. Yeah. I, I mean, thought this was, was the, the best of the group. Um, you know, numbers wise, I like the carry yardage a lot. Efficiency is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, very good. Yep. And it's, it's done very well in testing as well. Yeah. And then we also mentioned earlier too, but you know, and to get, Perhaps a little bit more height on it if we needed to. We can also you know, adjust the hosel. Yep. We can go with the you know, yep. shaft. I mean, that's all. That's what you guys do in the fitting yeah. days. So um, it's like innovation now. So uh, I know it's you know it's some of the different technologies, unique things that these manufacturers are doing to propel these clubs and, and drive that performance. <laughs> going back to AI smoke. Going right back to the AI smoke. Yeah, yeah. I mean these. This is a new one for Mizuno. Yeah. So. Props to them for coming out with something that's that's yeah, brand new to them. Is, so that's it's great. It's pretty darn good you too. Know, the, these two, the the Cobra and the the Taylor made, you know, new versions of what they've had. Yep. Nice tweaks, good stuff. Um, I still love the, the matte finish on the on the Cobra, but yep. from uh, from the innovation, just pushing AI, pushing AI, pushing AI. How are yep. they going to make a golf club that's improved year over year over year? And they're just they, they, the new smart face is amazing. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the smart face, clearly, if you haven't seen any of our testing on other you know, AI smoke products, swing report stuff, we talk a lot about the AI smart face and how what Callaway has done to provide unique face designs for every club in the series, and the result is extreme forgiveness. All, all over, over the face. All over the face. Right. Um, so, and that's what they're going yeah. for. So performance retention, if you hit it off the toe, hit it off the heel, yep. high, low, whatever it is. So. Uh, All done improved a really over last yeah. se last correct seasons, yes right? That's, yeah yeah it's very rare for Callaway to come out and put numbers on things right? yeah we haven't really seen that yeah and it's so rare for any manufacturer to do that because it's a lot of times it's easy to 
maybe not necessarily show that all the time as a yes. city base, but for them yes. to come out and claim it yes. that confidently, it tells me that they've yeah. They've, and they sh they show you what they this. expect you to gain in each yep. location across the face. That's yeah. That's, that's a big step. It's bold. It's yeah. a big step. Yeah. yeah. All right. Last category: look, sound, feel. Okay. Um, kind of the aesthetically oriented category here. Yep. Which of the four is your favorite there? Um, overall, I'm going to give the tailor-made okay. my favorite look. Yep. Uh, and and actually, maybe feel as well. Yeah. It was close between between the tailor-made and the Callaway. From a look standpoint, I just love the yeah. shape. I think the shape is spot on. The shape for the QI10. That's exactly what I want to sure. see. Um, I like the look of this fine. It's It's just a little... The infinity, the, the infinity yeah. crown. The infinity on, crown on is the, so clean. It's so clean. Yep. I, I definitely notice this, just like yeah. I used to notice the the, the stealth previous, one. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, it's. I just think that's a little cleaner. Yeah. Um, I think Taylor Made's QI10 entire series. I mean, they've cleaned yeah, everything up, it's, and the appearance from <laughs> stealth. It's and really good looking. It's really clean. That yeah. infinity crown on all these metals yeah. is is really really good. Yeah. So, sound. Um, these two are uh, neck and neck, yep. and and feel. These two are, are neck and neck. Okay. I thought they were the the two best. The TaylorMade and Callaway. The two best of the group. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But TaylorMade takes the tiebreaker with the, the yes, shape with and the, the with look. Yes, with the look. Yep. yep. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Yep. Well, again. Though Callaway gets the nod overall because it's got adjustability. There you go. You give me the adjustability, yep. and I'm a happy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right? With the and it also showed their performance too. It was just yeah. a better performing yeah. fairy wood as well. Yep. So, uh, but. Four great models here, nonetheless, yeah, yeah. and you know, depending on what your preferences are on look and, and feel and, and adjustability, you can test these all out for yourself. Get in the fitting bay with someone like Kevin and um, trade in that old fairy wood, upgrade to something here that's better suited for your needs. So no bad decisions. Just make sure you find the one that you like the best. I like that. I like yeah. that. So um, thank you, Kevin, for yeah. joining, hitting the shots, and thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more coming in the future.